This is 1M to 1K, where I turn 1 million hut coins into 1,000 by giving it all away. If you're new here, don't fret, as there are still many weekly giveaways to come. So this is the finale of 1K to 1M, my coin making card flipping series for NHL 17. And I got there finally by selling 128 cards. I had to sell quite a little bit more to get to this point. Just some low end cards, nothing to be too excited about. For this episode, we're going to be talking about NHL 18 and what's in store for a series like this in the future. In the meantime, I'll be showing you guys all the different contracts that I buy. Though, uh, you probably know if you're a winner if you got an increase of 25,000 coins over the past few days. So the first thing to expect from a series like this is it's going to start at the beginning of the year, and it'll likely go beyond 1 million coins. This year on my main account, I had like around 10 million coins worth of players on my main account before I even started the 1K to 1M series on my alternate account. I was going to make the series uh, 10 million to 100 million, that, that just sounds stupid, no, one, no one's going to check that out. But next year we'll just go as far as we can, just starting from the beginning, seeing where we end up. It'll likely go a lot faster than 1K to 1M in Angel 17, just because I'll be more interested in doing the series. Not that I wasn't interested in doing the series here on my alternate account, but because I already made a million, kind of uh, try and get there again, just kind of felt a little weird. I wasn't playing the market every day on my alternate account, but early on in the year, I was playing it every day on my main account. So you'll likely see me get to a million in like a month rather than like the two and a half months it took to get there on this series. Another thing I really want to focus on in the series is showing you guys the different ways that you can make coins. I might have started that at the start of the series and then towards the end of the series, but in the middle of the series, it was kind of just my favorite method that I was using all throughout the episode. There are still a lot of different methods in NHL 17 I did not go over. For example, there are certain cars out there, certain gold cars, that you can quick sell for 5,000 coins. It might have been patched, but it usually is related to new cards that they release, such as the Stanley Cup Edition cards or Team of the Week cards of those players. You guys remember the uh, the set glitch that was happening where you didn't need a carbon collectible to get a Stanley Cup card? And that glitch existed since the beginning of the year, at least the first time people have used it was around like November or December. So I'm going to do my best to inform you guys of these different little tricks as soon as they happen, show you my experience with the tricks, and see if I can make any coins from them. Funny enough on the screen, I just got kicked from the EA servers after buying like too many contracts or something. It's like EA thinks I'm like doing something illegal or something. Or something something. Uh, uh, something something something. There are other things like competitive seasons where you can just play a game and you'll automatically be rewarded with a pack or get to like a certain point in competitive seasons and you'll be guaranteed some pretty decent cards. I'm not sure if those count, but they certainly contribute to your coin totals. Recently I made a guide on shelltips.com helping people who have not started to play the auction house yet and giving them some advice and some tips on how to get started. And similarly to my how to NHL 17 videos on the auction house, I'm going to be telling you guys everything that you need to know to be successful by flipping the cards. Of course, most, if not all, of my videos are filled with the entertainments. Be sure to continue that with this series so that you find the content enjoyable, while at the same time, I guess you're getting a feel for uh, all these different tricks and what the card prices are. So we're down to the last 100k of the coins that I'm going to be giving away. What do you guys want to see from a series like this? I'm going to be doing my best to ramp up the production quality of these videos with new software, hardware. I'll see if I can make that less limiting and of course some people complain about my audio quality so that will certainly be fixed either for the start of the series or just maybe like a little bit into it. 
But I want to know what your thoughts are as I try to buy a contract for about 7k, just so that I can make someone else who wasn't even a part of the giveaway happy. Boom, I chose that one. If you guys want to see me do anything in particular for the series in NHL 18, you let me know and I'll do my best to do that. With that said, thanks for watching the series, thanks for watching my channel, and I hope that some of you are either on your way to being millionaires, or you're already millionaires by putting more effort into flipping cards than I did. Congratulations to you on that, and I will see you guys next year for 1K to 1M.